This video is being brought to you by Props.Cash, one of the best research tools in the business. It's a tool that I use on my videos that you see. I've been using for over a year and it's helped me a lot with picking props. Link is down in the description. Get 25% off your first month. DeMar DeRozan versus the Knicks. I think the Knicks are on a back-to-back. -back. We're looking at his points, 25 and a half. It's went over in seven out of 10 games, including six straight. So remember all streaks do come to an end, especially like this when they're hot scoring like this. Let's look at his last 30. Last 30, you see, this is probably the best streak he's been on, you know, in, in his last 30 games of going over the prop of 25 and a half. Projection on night of 29.14. Knicks are on a back-to-back. -back. Let's see what's happening at the books. 24 and a half in some places, 25 and a half in some places. Parlay Sites got him up at 25 and a half. Jack MT, MKT has dropped it down to 25. 25 and a half at Parlay Play. It's been hot. Uh, and I think they last played on. Let's go back to the last five. Last time he played was on 4-1. Today's 4-4, four four, so he's got his rest. Against the Knicks this year, only one game that he's played against the Knicks this year, he had 28. Kind of actually leaning toward the over on this one with a few days rest, catching the Knicks on a back-to-back. -back. He needs to score. Uh, but, you know, again, he's went over six straight, and these type of streaks do usually come to an end. But I'm taking the over on DeMar DeRozan tonight, over 25 and a half points. DeAndre Ayton, Portland, going against Washington. One of the worst defenses in the league versus the center position. That's Ayton's position. Line is 24 and a half. Projection by props.cash is 18.26. That's minus 6.24 points. During the season, he's went over this 12% of the time, last 20, 30% of the time, last 10, 40% of the time, last 5, 20% of the time, versus the opponent, 67% of the time. We can look at Aiden and just look at this, all this red. He just doesn't go over. He's only went over 6 out of 50 games this year. 6 out of 50 games. That's 24 and a half points. Look at his last 10. The last 10, you can see he's played a little bit better. Uh, but in his last four, he's had 8, 18, 20, and 24. Last time he played was on 4-3. Today's 4-5, so he got a day's off rest. And this game is in, it's in Washington, so it's on the road. You can see the lines are kind of all over the place. Sports betting sites, one got it at 24 and a half. One has it at 23 and a half. Parley sites got it at 23 and a half. And most of them, yeah, most of them, but Parley play has it at 24 and a half. So a line is all over the place. Let's go back to Aiden. Let's look at his away games. Away in his last 10, only two out of 10 uh, games as he's went over 24 and a half. I know they are playing a bad team. First Washington, let's see what we've got. He had 31 versus Washington 2022. Let's look at his, uh, not just the way, let's look at all of them. He had 30 and 31 after 2022. One game this year in home, he had 23. We're not going to fight the numbers here. We're going to take DeAndre Ayton to go under 24 and a half points. We're going to take the under on this one. Colin Sexton, Utah versus the Clippers. Clippers coming off a of back to back. This game is located in Clippers tonight. So, Clippers were, they played Denver last night. So, they're playing. Uh, Utah tonight. We're looking at his rebounds and assists, eight and a half. His projection is eleven point seven seven. 
Clippers rank 23rd first in position, uh, which is point guard. Let's look at Sexton a little closer here. For the season, he's only went over this mark 39% of the time, 30 out of 70 games. His last 10. 70% of the time, uh, 7 out of 10 games, including his last game where he had 10 on 4-2. Let's look at his last 30. 57% of the time, 17 out of 30. Let's look what the books are saying. Books have pretty much pushed this line up to 9.5. You can see he's a pretty good favorite to go under nine and a half at minus 145. FanDuel still has it at eight and a half and as you can see minus 128. Even money to go under eight and a half. The parlay sites pushed it up to nine. Flip has even pushed it up to nine and a half. Eight and a half still at at parlay play. Nine and underdog. Dabble's not offering it. Nine at, um, I'm sorry, better's not offering it. Nine at Dabble. Best line I see out there probably to take is, you know, maybe the nine and a half, you know, minus nine and a half at, at Flip, but we don't want to pay it up minus 160 to get it. If you're using a, a five play or a six play, he may be good to put in there on prize picks. Uh, Jock MKT uh, Underdog Probably Going with the Under on Nine or I mean Really I think we're looking at a push here At nine I like the eight and a half over here on FanDuel I would take the over eight and a half especially on a back-to-back. -back. I think he can get to 9 or 10 tonight. Again, his projection by PropStacks Cash is... Let's go back to that again. His projection is 11.77. And he's coming off of a game where he just got 10... Let's go down here and look at the matchups. There, well, no doubt is available for rebounds plus assists versus the Clippers as of right now. Again, I would take the under nine. And I would only use this player in like a four or five or six play. Because we're probably looking at the push at at nine. And if you can get over eight and a half take the over eight and a half. I know I'm going back a little bit, just trying to think this out, going back and forth with this one. I would only deal with eight and a half, taking the over eight and a half, and I probably wouldn't put him in my uh, plays at nine or nine and a half. Uh, I really think he has a good chance to go over tonight, over the eight and a half, and maybe even over the, uh, the nine. You know, he may be able to get 10 again tonight. Um, Clippers are on a back-to-back, -back, but just looking at the lines one more time, uh, the over eight and a half at FanDuel is really the only thing that I would, and the over eight and a half at uh, Parlay Play are the two plays that I'm looking at. De'Aaron Fox, 10 and a half rebounds plus assist. Let's go back. Projection on the night from Propside Cash is 13.15. Boston ranks 22nd first to position, which is the point card position defensively. He's went over only 46% of the time this season, 60% in his last 20, 50% in his last 10, and 60% in his last five. And I don't know if he's faced Boston this year versus Boston. Yep, he only had six 
in a game back on 12-20. All previous games against Boston, he went under. So no games in the last two years as he went over 10 and a half rebounds and assist. As you can see, this is the season. 46% of the time he's went over. Let's look at his away numbers. Away, everything is red. 23, 24, 33% of the time, 11 out of 33. Last five, 20%, last 10, 40%. He did go over in his last game back on 4-4, which is yesterday. They played New York Knicks. He had 14. This is a back-to-back. -back. I'm going to go with his away trend. We're going to take the under on De'Aaron Fox to go under 10.5 rebounds and assist.